Hey guys, today we're taking a look at my sketch paper. This is a writing application, a paper or painting application, drawing application, all in one. You can create a notebook with free pen and brush. It's really, really cool, really great uh, productivity uh, tool to just record almost anything. You know, really great note taking style. It's a, uh, a free hand and creative tool to record anything from sketches, charts, lists, to even diagrams, which I really like about it. You can make really great drawings, uh, you know, artistic, any, any sort of artistic uh, thing you can think of really in, in this application. And of course you can use it for the work sense. You can use it uh, as a canvas for notes, professional note taking, charts, like I mentioned all that. It has really great features from uh, multiple books, copying pages, page templates, uh, custom colors, easy to use interface, uh, text input, uh, an advanced brush system which includes stuff like transparency, pressure sensitive, radius, so it works great with the stylus and all that. So here's the book here. You can create multiple books. So if I want to create a new book, you can easily just hit the plus button right here. You get information about the book, so I can rename it here. So if I want to name this like ideas, for example, I can easily do that. I can also copy and paste that if I want to copy that book. Um, I can delete the book if I want. If I want to go in, I just simply tap the book here, and then I can go ahead and tap in again. Or I can use a 3D gesture, the pinching to sign up, kind of pinch out uh, gesture or pinch in, as you can see here, to open it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open the book. You can see I have multiple tools here. Uh, at the very top left, I have my settings. I can do stuff like save this page to photos, email it, PDF and email, export as a PDF, which I really, really do like, and change the background. So if I don't want a white canvas, I can do stuff like a note style paper. So maybe I need to write stuff down in a list. I can easily do that. I can also click on the next thing to add photos, take a photo, uh, take from pasteboard. So I can use an iPad to take a photo, or if I have an I, uh, a photo in my photo library, I can do that. I can easily add text with this button right here, and I can just drag where I want the text here. So if I want on the line, Test. This is text. I can add a period there. I can change the font. I can change the font size with an easy to use slider here. I can also adjust the color of the text. I can center the text, left align, all that good stuff. I can also move the text here and expand the text box by dragging that little bottom right corner. I have these sliders here next to the text thing. If I, I click out here, oh, whoops, I don't want to make a new text. I just want to, hang on, let me get out of here real quick. I don't want to make any text. There you go. I'm going to click on the text tool, go into the next tool. This allows me to adjust stuff like pressure, opacity, radius, hardness of my brushes. So I have a couple brushes here. I have erasers. And I also have tools like the regular sort of fountain pen style thing. So if I want to draw, I can easily just draw on here. If I want to record notes, like, you know, maybe I need to record a number or something like that. I can easily write a number down. I can use like a paint tool here. So I can just use this little paintbrush. You can see the kind of the differential and strokes uh, and pressure sensitivity there. I can kind of go... Uh, really dark or really kind of thinned out. I can also use tools like this uh, sort of cool pattern tool. So you can see I can make this little brush effect. I can also change the colors here in the bottom left. You can see I have tools to change the colors. I also have the option to go to a custom color palette to adjust to get a perfect color. So if you want a specific color, you can modify all these sliders to get a specific color. Really, really great. You also have these undo uh, and redo uh, buttons in the bottom left, which I really, really do like. So if you ever mess up anything and you have to want to quickly go back, you can easily do that edit undo sort of functionality in the bottom left. Um, you can change uh, more brushes. So if you want to buy additional brushes, you can do in-app purchases to get stuff like you can get all the brush art set for like $4, texture painting brushes, pen sketch brushes, brushes, all the good stuff. I can delete the page entirely if I want to do that, if I want to get clean the page out. I can make a new page uh, if I want to make a new page in this specific book. I can also go full screen. I really like this for writing and text input. In the top right, if I click this, I go into full screen layout here, so I get nothing but just the interface, or without the interface here. looks really simple, really plain, really great way to take notes. Um, and I can go, of course, click the bottom right to go back to the notebooks. And you can see I get a preview of what's actually on this page. Overall, my sketch paper is a really, really great application. It, it can be used in so many sort of ways, from doing straight art. Uh, you can have a book for art. You can have a book for work. I really like using it for the charts and diagrams you can use, again, uh, it has a whole bunch of layouts here. I can just make a new book, go in, and like I mentioned earlier, I can choose from a whole bunch of different layouts here. So I really like stuff like this. So for like these calendar layouts, or even this, if you're an iOS developer, cool little um, sort of uh, wireframing of an iPhone. So if you ever have an idea for an app, they have these really cool layouts. So it can be used in such a versatile way. Again, this is my sketch paper. Write, paint, draw, create notebooks with free pens and brushes. Available for 99 cents on the iPad in the App Store today. Do check it out, and again, if you want to use those in-app purchases, you can get all the brush sets for $4 in the app. Really easy to use, really clean interface. Check it out for the iPad today.